Hello everyone, this is Adam with The Weekend Hiker. Today I'm going to be showing you a tip to save some weight in your backpack. So the fall time and the winter time are great times to go camping and backpacking. But the problem is, with the colder weather brings more weight on your back. So finding ways to save any weight is always a good idea. You can always bring a down sleeping bag, which saves you weight. This is Sierra Designs. Zizu 12. It's a really nice down sleeping bag. It's a lot lighter than your synthetic bag of the same caliber, but I have something even better. I'm talking about a down quilt. The difference with a quilt versus a regular sleeping bag is one, there's no hood at the top, and on the back side, it opens up. On the bottom for your foot box, you can either get snaps and a drawstring or you can get the sewn foot box for colder weather. And what makes this great is it uses less material. It's a lot lighter. This is one that's made by Hammock Gear. It's their 50 degree top quilt. This is great for springtime or fall time. I haven't saved up to get the winter version yet but I will eventually. So what makes the top quilt better than just a regular sleeping bag? Well the problem is with a typical sleeping bag Whenever you're laying down on something, you're putting pressure on the bag, which compresses the material, basically making it useless. The way you get away with that is you would order the extra wide version of one of these, which is three inches wider than this particular one I have. And the other thing you would need is a good ground pad with a really good R value. The higher the better, especially in the colder months in winter. So one thing you have to keep in mind that with the mommy bag, you have the hood that keeps your head warm but if you're gonna go just a top quilt there is no hood so what you would do is you would wear something like a Patagonia Cap 4 beanie or whatever uh, type toboggan on your head I'm five nine and a half so when I get inside one of these things I can usually have it over my head covering up to about here so with the hat on it keeps me pretty warm when you're laying down on the mat, you just tuck the sides under you. That way, cold air can't get in. It's one of the big three ticket items that will take up a lot of weight in your pack. Any weight you can save will save a lot of pain on your back. So I would highly recommend looking into getting a top quilt, especially a wide version. They're a little more pricey, but it's something you want to save up for, and it's a very good investment. So I do have two quick announcements for you guys. The first is that my prototype patches for the Weekend Hiker finally came in. The only downside is they didn't turn out how I wanted and made it the file size way too small. I learned a lot of ways to make it a lot higher quality, so I'm having to reorder the patches. I don't want to show you how it turned out just yet. I'm going to wait till the new patches come in, and then I can do a side-by-side -side comparison and tell you a little more detail about how I screwed up. So my second announcement is I wanted to remind you guys that the deadline for my 100 subscriber giveaway is fast approaching. So if you still want to get your extra entries in doing your video response, please make sure you have those in no later than this coming Sunday, 8 p.m. Central Time. And that'll give you an extra four entries into the giveaway. I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been my quick tip on how to save weight in your pack, especially in the colder months. This is Adam with the Weekend Hiker saying, take care, God bless, and I'll see you all down the trail. Thank you.